This is a special report, short. Row the clip. All in the mind, all these thoughts as of late. People are divided in their hearts and minds. Their hearts have been made hard towards each other. This type of behavior segregates the spirit between the brothers. Allowing the enemy Satan the hater of all that's good to use the people for unrighteous deeds. Why should truly righteous peoples of any land have hatred of others then I asked. Yes the righteous needs to avoid the unrighteous, lest they may become as unrighteous as them. Hatred is from the devil which represents his hatred of mankind. Most hate is based on jealousy between two or more people. The unrighteous will use this jealousy of his brother to justify carrying out unjust deeds toward his brother. The unrighteous person will deceive himself not to repent for their sin against righteousness. Sins are what truly hurts the spirit for it represents one of two things. Either the spirit has not the strength to resist temptation, or the present of an evil nature or spirit inside the person that encourages the sin to take place. To repent of sin is the good nature of the human spirit. One must realize the error of falling to the evil nature and obeying it. Having strength to not repeat the sin again, and overcome the evil nature of sin for this is the true victory of this life if one can achieve it. We owe it to our Lord to be as righteous as we can. We will not achieve righteousness with the hardened heart, nor with the self-deceitful mind. These things will only cause self-confusion, or spiritual corruption leading the person farther for the Lord. Evil nature thoughts once rooted in a person's soul will grow. When it has matured, the evil nature will control you and your deeds. Only through repentance and forgiveness can this evil nature be overcome. Thus, freeing the spirit of the sinner, the sinner will have learned from the experience. This life is a matter of how we manage our thoughts and our deeds. For the righteous are of clear thought and good deeds. Forgiving others for their sins against you is your duty. This can only be achieved with good nature heart. I've thought a lot about war and about the glory of victory. The warrior armed with sword or gun ready to win the battle overcoming the evil upon the land. Even if the warfare was successful a look at the destruction it caused. Some portion of creation is lost when war is waged by man. We truly have not the understanding of the time nor place to wage war of any kind. Our tools of warfare have been founded on hatred of the enemy. Weapons that man use in war are with soul proposed to deprive the enemy of life or control over their own flesh. Even medical help what we call healing the earthly body requires the total destruction of another life form. So I ask is there true victory in warfare of man? Is that why we are meek spiritually? We lack the divine nature and power to restore the land back to its former glory that it enjoyed before the war. Who can restore fallen soldiers who have lost their lives on the war's bloody battlefields? Which man can give a widow back her husband and his life with the same nature he had before the war started? The lost only through self-deceit can one fall prey to the sin game. Often conflicts are sparked by people wanting to right a wrong. This is vengeance. I think I know why the Lord says vengeance is his. Only God has the divine nature and power to restore. But still yet the enemy within your can trick you into believing you are doing a just deed. When waging war. This war can be fought on many levels national, local, and personal. National would be a worldwide conflict, fought to control resources and other peoples. Local would be civil wars fought to control the society's beliefs and behaviors. Personal would be a spiritual or a physical war fought to control self. Think for one moment in all of humankind wars, death is required of the enemy in most cases. Because of this requirement a piece of creation is often taken, out of the earth we are all weakened because of this. Through our self-deceit in most case we believe we are victorious. Realizing not in the spirit we weaken our own kind. Haters of their brother are haters of themselves. A man driven by hate that kills his brothers also does that same man do harm to his own spiritual well-being. Mankind wars promote the killing of the enemy army which in turn opens up a sea of guilty in the victor heart. The victors would then be defiled by blood. The children of the victor would fall prey to the guilty and hardened spiritual nature of the victor. In the end the only true victor will be the misery and sense of loss that all will feel. Unrighteous men tell us that war should have righteous intent. Yet we as humans fail to see this trickery due to our lack of understanding the weaponry of the unrighteous. We should seek the weapons of righteousness such as the strength of love, or the power of forgiveness, or the fortitude of faith to overcome the enemy. 
It is for these oversights we often enter a war misguided and full of hatred for the enemy. To what end will we not go before we realize if in defeating an enemy, by resorting to unrighteous tactic, we will lose the spiritual war. The fallen enemy defeats their enemies spiritually. Many times it is true it's either them or you, in man's warfare. So how will you manage your thoughts and deeds when call upon to fight? I conclude there is no such a thing as a righteous war. For righteous requires not death, but life. Hey everybody, thank you for watching the video. This is True Power is mine. As always, live your life with integrity, without hate, without envy, and or greed. Peace. Also, support me on Patreon. Patreon forward slash join forward slash True Power is mine.